Hola, welcome to the Innovations for the Future Crowd Circle. In this circle is welcome all the, the sharings about and stories about innovations for the future, the challenge for building the ventures and the game world, the, the celebrations. What is happening? It's the question is what is happening and how can we support each other? And my proposal, we have been having a, a very interesting conversation with the question that Rob made before starting recording. And maybe we can go there in this in, in this in this recording. Rob, if, if you'd like to do again the question and we go with that. And uh, I also like to share to, to do a check-in, uh, a round of check-in. Works for you guys, this? Yeah. I go first. Mm. I'm a little bit tired. I wake up very early. I, 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 I was staying in Tomar this last week with Eva. And uh, today I, I, I travel in the morning to, to Lisboa. And I wake up very early, a little bit tired and energized. Um, and also with sadness because... Uh, I, in this last uh, week, I have been with my partner. And I'm sad of coming out of that bubble and also being with Divan, this friend, in the country, far away from this thing of the city and the cars and the noise and all this stuff was really a very nurturing week in, in all dimensions, in all my bodies. Um, and I'm sad. I'm sad that that finish that that I lived that back. Um, also with anger and fear because I have a lot of things to do it here at home, to to prepare the the home for the kids that arrive in in the afternoon. And cleaning and that kind of stuff and uh, shopping, and I'm I'm feeling that anger and fear and and the joy. Um, to be with my children again in the afternoon and receive them and stay in the next week with, with them. Yeah, that's what that's is what is my near life in me now. Yeah, that's me arriving. Thank you. Um, I could go next. Uh, well, funny enough, I was just cleaning the windows before you, uh, before this call. Uh, <laughs> I quite enjoy that uh, in certain ways, uh, with the idea that I'm going to be able to look out with clearer visions. That's uh, that would be something I would like to enjoy. Um, things haven't been so smooth and or happy. Uh, seem to be actually quite hard going. It's more mentally uh, these last weeks. I haven't been, uh, but this morning, looking forward to seeing you and um, that it was happening. Um, and I'll speak a little bit more about that uh, after checking. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling a bit more upbeat seeing your faces, uh, knowing this is happening. where I'm about to travel. My, my partner's about to leave today. I need to take her to the bus station and then I will leave on Sunday and we will be uh, uh, meeting up in the UK in a few days beyond that to give training, uh, which is exciting um, for 30, children, 30, uh, 30 activists, youth uh, activists and or different educators. Um, yeah, so I think I think uh, life is taken care of, or is taking care of us for a few, few, uh, for a few weeks, and then it's into the unknown again. So that's me, Thierry. Thank you, Rob. Thanks. Uh, yeah, for me, it's uh, it's been a kind of a up and down week, and. Uh, I'm actually you know, in the 
happy a sweet spot. I started uh, wild harvesting of uh, pine pollen and uh, pine cones and, uh, and really uh, enjoy playing with it and seeing it, it you know it's so simple to to see to find a superfood that uh, basically almost nobody is looking at and on the bigger picture I feel this kind of uh, um, yeah it's almost like a rebirthing uh, process and it just needs its time uh, I, I started to to play maybe you can see it uh, with on stones <laughs> and this is this is maybe you could uh, uh, compare it to to Einstein when uh, when he uh, his his discovery was uh, was recognized. Uh, that was actually the moment that he was. Uh, let's see if you see it. Yeah, that that, that this famous uh, picture with uh, Einstein with his uh, tongue out of his mouth was when uh, when when all the journalists uh, stormed his apartment. So I think it was in, in Berlin with, where he was living, and uh, uh, it was confirmed by by English scientists that uh, that his his understandings of the universe were were correct. <laughs> so I don't know why he put his tongue out, but it feels it feels liberating. And sometimes, you know, if you're in the middle of it, you feel like you're a fool. Uh, but I, I think we're on the right path together. And uh, let's, let's just stay and uh, enjoy each other's company. That was me. Thank you, Thierry. Rob, do, do you want to bring the question again? And we go with them, with that question. Yeah, also just to respond, I really enjoyed that story. I've seen that photo and um, it's great to have context. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't know, I may, because I'm making up a story because I don't know it all. Uh, oh, yes, you're right. Yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> and knowing the way things are, am I? <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Yes, what I was coming to is I was I was uh, reflecting on my life. Um, well, this morning I was very uh, looking forward to meeting you and didn't know if it was going to take place and whether there was a cap on the time that had been committed to, because it's a commitment to show up every week and host, and even though, Marco, you say that it's, um, of course, possible and also it does happen that other people host. And that's a commitment that I uh, would actually love to be able to off of myself, uh, particularly to cancel people. Um, and I'm not able to because I, I still have a lot of movement still in me to do. Um, and I can't commit to being in a place at a time, one, one particular time and place in a week where I'm still and ready to, to hold that. Uh, so yes, that was, my, that was my question. What was what commitment or is the commitment to run these, uh, these circles? Um, and also saying a lot of gratitude for those of you who can and are doing that. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you for the question. I think that that is a very important question, not only for the circle in the Innovation for the Future context, but so also for other uh, groups, uh, like you say, Way of Council, but other groups connected with the Innovations for the Future or game worlds that are being built around. Um, this is in the innovations for the future. The story goes like this. This is the third season of circles. We did the first season of about two months every, with a circle every week. And we stopped for a while and we did a second season for uh, open circles. It was when Thierry arrived and, and met the circle and we did for I don't know more or less four to to five months, uh, a weekly circle, and uh, we stopped for a while. And now I decided to 
to to put the proposal to, to the community of having again a weekly circle and i started holding space for that in the last november and we are doing i think this is the near the 20 circle around that since then every friday from 9 30 to 10 30 um I already I'm I'm usually the, the one that's hold space, but you did already, Rob, and Thierry also did that. And for me, it's the what I'd like this could happen here in this space. It's this this was a the facilitation could be a, in a rotate way in a uh, going around. And I, I'm not the design of the circle. It's not for us to have a a, a, a fixed configuration. I'm okay with people. Uh, coming as far as they their lives allow them for doing that i have the commitment to be here on on fridays um, and if i if i'm not have if i'm not available to be here for something i i have the commitment to try to find someone to be here and hold the space and and, and be with the the thing happen and um there is there is a story that is coming from a, one of one of us, Katya, and Katya is holding a circle for people that are game world builders in the education, and that are inside the schools, uh, supporting the transformation of something in the school. And she's doing that for uh, more or less one year, and she she has a very particular design in the circle. And I was very intrigued and curious to see how to see the results of the circle and how the design goes. And I'm 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 really also eager to experiment, to talk a little bit with her more and to experiment also that because it's a very loose design. Like she put an hour, a day and an hour in a in a in a week, and she allowed people to arrive. Uh, since the beginning until the end, people can arrive when when the, it's suitable for them, and they have a like a a coming in or a coming out protocol. Like if you arrived late, you can silence you are and you wait for someone else to welcome you and thing like that. And if you are going out uh, earlier. You in in a, in a in a appropriate moment you say that at the beginning or you in the appropriate moment you say that and you go quietly without interrupting and do this kind of stuff. You have this kind of protocol, and um, what is happening with this soft and loose? Can I say design? It's that people are are coming to the circle. They have. It's it's a. As far as I understand, it's near to 20 people around that, between 10 and 10, 20, 20 people. And people are coming and they stop coming late. They start coming at the beginning of the circle. And she said that she didn't say nothing, that you need to go arrive earlier or you need to be in all the circles and this kind of stuff. And people are coming to all the circles and arriving earlier. Like the energy and what is happening and what is what is the 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 purpose of the circle is doing the magic it, it's not the design or the, the obligation or the commitment that is, that is that is putting ahead that is doing the thing but it's the people find the real the true commitment inside them to be there and then that really touched me that's wow and it's like a a holy grail. I'm 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 pursuing that for so many years since Ronsemed and other projects, and uh, seeing that that is happening in now with Katya and she's experimenting with that is wow. I want to learn more about that and I want to know more about this because this is the kind of stuff that I'd like to to have for innovation and from some of my projects like the foundation and things like that. And then that this story comes when you you make the question, and I'm, I was like telling the this the story of the this this circle, and then, you know that that's me. I, I I for me I will continue to hold this circle, and when I have a no inside me, I will announce that in a, one of the circles, and like like we are now saying, oh, guys, 
in next month I will stop doing this or whatever. And I also will put that in the in the Telegram group saying that I'm, I'm not available and if someone else is, please do and, and I support that. And uh, yeah, that's me. That's that's what's come out with your question and the story of Katya that really uh, touched me and, um, around this issue. Just leaving a space, a little space in case Thierry wants to say something. Um, I would also, I also observe that's something uh, that I long to see, and it's not uh, uncommon actually, uh, that where real work is being done, it's authentic. Um, <clears throat> people will show will show up. Uh, It's, as, it's the way of the circle, to be honest, also. Um, <clears throat> there are some councils where it's really quite important that everybody is there at the beginning. Rob, um, I, will, I will stop my <clears throat> video because... In a traditional way. Um, Rob, <clears throat> we, we stop listening to you. I stop listening to you. I don't know if Thierry happened with the same, but I stopped listening to you. I will close my video to see if it helps, okay? Um, <clears throat> let's see, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Let's see. Um, where, I don't know where I dropped out. Um, and, but I was... <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat, uh, which run until they run, until no one speaks, uh, people come and go. Um, it can take three days or something. If there's a if there's a, a big thing to talk about, people need to leave the circle to to eat or to look after the children to take a uh, uh, to take a break. Um, and so it's understood. And in, in a way, when the circle uh, has some experience. Uh, a field appears that's very easy to access and, uh, and leave. And of course, one does it respectfully. Rob, it's happening. It's very good to hear the story, and I would look forward to uh, joining it. It's yeah. happening again. Maybe All right. Can you I'll, try I'll leave to the thoughts. Can you, can you try to stop you also your image and try again? Rob? Um, I think I won't repeat that again. I will just uh, give it to, uh, to, to, to Terry if he has okay. something. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, funny enough, I, I uh, just uh, had this, uh, I have this app, uh, the Daily Tao, on the Tao Te Ching, and I'll just read this, uh, what I saw, saw for today. Ordinary men hate solitude but the master makes use of it, embracing his aloneness, realizing he is one with the whole universe. It's from Lao Tzu. And you know what I feel, we, it was, was a theme that, uh, that came by uh, regularly in, in our uh, weekly conversations uh, with Marco, is this, uh, this aloneness uh, of say the pioneer. And who knows, maybe that's, that's Part of also what uh, what is like the theme in, in in this community, and one thing I I learned from from these, these masters is basically um, there. Yeah, of course, like we all have a personality and a, and a, and an ego and and a body, but on the bigger picture, we are all connected. So even if we, if we just sit here with three people. We represent the whole, um, and then when when it's 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 needed or appropriate or or, uh, or for whatever reason the time arrives, other people can can just uh, join in the conversation. But even if they join in, if they don't join into the conversation, they can still benefit from the the kind of holding space that, that, that we create here. 
um, as long as we do it from from the heart and uh, we don't do it out of some kind of uh, oh, we have to we have to do this we committed ourselves to do this then i i think we're totally uh, we're totally fine and you know i've uh, i've also been in the in the space that i was thinking you know why why the heck don't more people uh, show up here and uh, we do so beautiful stuff <laughs> but for now i i i, I feel like i've uh, what i've shared before so uh yeah if I really enjoy the Friday mornings, and uh, it's kind of uh, one of the highlights of my week. So thank you for that. Thank you, Thierry. It it, uh, it this week, no, no, yeah, in in Wednesday, with uh, with Gilles doing the resourcing session, uh, we we talk about the the. The, the teams and I was reflecting about the teams in the innovations for the future. And that was also, that is very connected with this thing of the circle here. And um, it's a very interesting experiment and learning that I'm doing in this case. Like, I, I see, I see the, when, when I look to the innovations for the future movement, I see these several circles. Like there is this first circle that is all the people that are game world builders. It doesn't matter if they know if the innovations for the future exist or not, doesn't exist. They are game world builders and they are building something completely different for from this modern culture. For me, that is the, the first ring of this circle. The second ring, the more inner one, is from that ones, the ones that already know that innovations for the future exists and and could reach in, in a way. And there is the third ring that it's the people that came to this kind of circle, know that this circle exists every week and in a way came or listened to recording or something like this. And um, I, I, I see this kind of rings like happening. And the, the first, the more exterior one, um, for me, it's the potential of the teams and what happens and th this kind of stuff. And in the second one, it's where the teams came, came forward. In the beginning, we have so many teams, people around mapping and people doing learning journeys and some uh, mapping, meaning the mapping of the initiatives in the country. And um, the, there was so many teams joining in a voluntary way, in an emergent way. Now it's that is more... Uh, in a sleepy mode, we don't have so many teams, uh, um, say, uh, alive. And what is more is this space holder thing, like Yvain is space holding the innovations for the future uh, founding opportunities. I'm space holding the crowd event. In Nitsa is space holding the Idanya innovations for the future Idanya Nova or Igor is space holding the innovations for the future of Mira. Like there is this people, Noelia space holding the innovations for the future, game world builders for Echo Village. Like there is more these individuals that are space holding like a circle or a group, a telegram group of something that is more connected with the real interests that they have. Like they are at Echo Village or they are in Idania, like this kind of stuff. And this is the moment where we are. We don't have properly a uh, uh, continuous team, but we have these people that are space holding for several interests. And the teams happen in a, in a like a temporary way, like like we did for for Lausanne, for the learning journey in Lausanne. Ah, let's let's someone Jose Serra invite us, and we we did a, a team and we went there like this kind of stuff. Yeah, and that was a very interesting thing to see. How can an, an auto, a, a centerless, without a center, a centerless movement organization could work with these self-organized teams? And how the circle could be something in there, something that supports 
people in doing that, in doing that self-organization thing. Like, and I'm I'm with that. That is the place where I'm experimenting now in the context of innovations, bringing this, we learning this from people like Katya, how she's doing in with with the circle, having the commitment to be here every Friday. Uh, doing the resourcing sessions for the ones that wants to be resourced and see what what emerge I, I had I had a very interesting experience in last Tuesday yes like after I published the last innovations for the future game world builder interview it was about Nina from a source floors and uh, I, I put that and immediately I saw one person seeing that, ah, this is from a storage. I know this guy, this guy, and this guy. And he, the person sent a, an email to that person that he know in a storage in Flores with that recording. And that, that happened immediately after I put the recording online. And that usually is a thing that happens in my back. I, I don't see them. And uh, uh, because I was in that place, I saw the people, uh, the person doing that. And I would say, whoa, this this is the thing. This is the magic. This is people already connecting and 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 putting the 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 people uh, um, coming together. And I I raised still really glad with seeing that seeing that as soon as the recording is published and people start connecting with that with the interview and with the resourcing session with this circle, something is happening. Something is building. Like like people are more more aware that. This movement exists. It doesn't matter the name, but this movement exists. There are people that are doing things like I'm doing, and I and I'm seeing others connecting. That. And that is one of the things it's make me glad to, to really see and touch that. And yeah, that that for me it's also something that is coming from this question that you made, Rob, about the circle and how the circle works, and what is the the hidden what is in in the backstage of the circle of of what is there in in the in the in the i don't like the, the expression i will try in the, the in the tissues i will uh, this expression was the the social fabric or the fabric of i don't like that expression the tissue the organs the 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 this micellar thing that is behind the scenes operating and it's me for now Thanks, beautiful. Yeah, it reminds me. Uh, I was yes. last last week. I was just uh, watch, watching several episodes from uh, a BBC series. Uh, I don't. It's it's about these uh, migrating birds, and uh, funny enough, uh, last week I found another great beach uh, around the corner here, which is uh, on my my background now. And and there the um, how do you call them the um, the big uh, thing ostrich uh, birds, uh, stork uh, storks storks yes thank you yeah. uh, they 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 are nesting there actually and uh, some years ago I found out about this uh, phenomenon that is actually quite uh, quite new and and rare that these uh, these birds nest on the on the cliffs here but now there are more and more of them and funny enough you know i was just in this in this phase of uh, of just writing down my uh, uh my my own story and i i feel very much i'm in in kind of a rebirth uh, moment um i think that we we're, we're in that collectively for the last three years it has been a lot of uh co creative destruction which also if you you put it back to this image of these migrating birds. It's not that the, that these uh, storks and and others just they, they go by thousands. You know, just have, have small groups and and then they have their uh, their anchor points uh, somehow in their memory where they need to go. Uh, uh, yesterday I saw a group of uh, geese going to uh, to some uh, area in Scotland, and they, they somehow they got distracted, so they. They were flying over London, which was quite uh, hard for them. Um, and I think that's also 
kind of a metaphor we, we could we could use. Um, so for now, we're here sitting together and one of the things we, we always try to uh, force our mind uh, to organize something that more people come in. But if we just, uh, and I'm very good at it, and I get very tired of it uh, when I see myself doing it. But the more we can enjoy this this space, uh, the more welcoming it is to other people, and then it can can serve its purpose. And who knows? Maybe it's it's it's, it's these uh, three old fools just sitting here and, uh, <laughs> and enjoying each other. You know, I had this week. It was this this friend of mine came by, and uh, we we thought we we would do some healing. And he's, he's a great uh, artist with uh, mosaics and stuff like that. And I, I showed him these these pictures uh, that I made on the on on the stones. And uh, you know, I'm just a, just amateur. I got some paints from another great artist, and he he loves them. He he took two of them uh, this morning. I saw a post on Facebook uh, that he was just uh, sharing these pictures. <laughs> Who knows? The, the, maybe the, the the more we are just ourselves, uh, the the more that can uh, can flow through us, and we can, uh, yeah. Basically, I think we we have to create a happy and healthy world, and uh, maybe who knows? Maybe that's the our contribution to it. So that's me. Thank you, Thierry. Thank you. Yes, uh, just wanted to say something with that. Um, how how I need to be reminded of uh, just relaxing and 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 being myself and having fun. Uh, fun, not as in oh yeah, woo, uh, uh, but just uh, um, enjoying and finding a meaning in uh, in what I'm doing, and that's naturally attractive or creates a field of ease and for others. And of course, I'm reflected. It's reflected back to me, um, and it's my um, inner turmoil. I've got my inner uh, stress that um, when commitment comes, so when things conditions aren't favourable, uh, there's a, a thought that comes. Oh, uh, what should I change, or is it simply like the weather? Do I need to move my house over there where there's a bit more sun? Or could I keep my house here and wait for the cloud to move? And in that analogy, obviously, one doesn't move one's house. Uh, one waits for the weather to move. Um, but I ask myself, as my original question was, how I have to, I feel such a move around in me, in my life. What actually serves to keep moving or whether I uh, stay with my house uh, in that metaphor? Uh, of not moving and waiting for the cloud to move. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Thierry. It also resonates with me your, your words, and um, I was I was looking inside and see uh, how the circles have been precious to me, in a sense that is a space for me to talk about my experience of innovations for the future in the last week. What coming out? What kind of issues pop up from the people from in myself? Uh, what was my action, what happened, and in a way make sense with you guys about this, about listening myself speaking and where where inside me that, that speaking came from, what is the kind of feelings and energy that is coming, how that is connected with my purpose in being here and all this. But, and that was being very precious to me and seeing that, listening to myself, see, I have very beautiful moments in this circle like when I came out 
of the, the the experience with the young people and the the and being very liquid and being open in the space and vulnerable and, and listen from from you what what was there what you see where is your experience around that and also people that listen the recording and also call me and say yeah i have this experience and i have that i have experience with young people and what are you feeling are normal or not and bring that experience was really really uh, rich and profound and it's being touch me to have this space and yes i, I can't say it's a uh a, 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 a fun thing in the, that sense of modern culture use the fun word, but it's been a very high level fun. Meaning, yes, I'm, I'm, it's a space for expressing my sadness and my fear and my anger and my uh, joy, and, and that me that turns me on. It's a it's a place where I can be myself and I can bring my experience and what is hurting and what is what I'm celebrating, what I'm learning. In, in being with 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 these people that that I admire and that that inspire me doing this stuff in around the country and also seeing my my blind spots what 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 is not visible for me like you guys I'm seeing from a point of view that I can't see myself and it was also very touching to have the we, we in the carnival we did a shadow thing about uh, what is in this shadow side of uh, innovations for the future and i think it was the first time that i went with people around this conversation with Thierry and was really insightful for me to see some structures that it was invisible for me and I could start moving something in myself around that and open myself to 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 that. Uh, yeah, it, thank you for bringing that. Yeah, it it really intrigued me how these circles have been uh, uh, important to me and to making sense of innovation. Like I'm, I'm feeling sad because uh, I had this uh, need in myself of having a space for sharing about this and i didn't know i'm i'm discovering now like this impulse of starting from november the circles uh, yeah maybe it comes from that need that i'm putting my my eyes now in in in, in them that, that need of making sense of the, my experience of the innovations for the future and my experience as game world builder in this context yeah. thank you thank you You know, re listening to that and also reflecting on it, um, one of the things I learned again uh, with my friend uh, this week is that uh, I think it's maybe more uh, stronger with men, but I think with uh, with a lot of pioneers anyway, that you end up in being kind of a, a warrior. You have a mission and uh, stuff like that. Um, but one thing I picked up, if you uh, grow in maturity, it's, I think it's a, a quote from Goethe, uh, where he says, okay, you have three phases in, uh, um, in, in, in the human growth process. First is like uh, being like a camel, dumb and stupid and uh, lazy. And second, if you wake up uh, with a mission uh, and you're like a, like a lion roaring for the for, for the planet or whatever you you're doing and then the third is like innocent child um and somehow you know there's there's such a power in it because then you just only do what's what's needed and you don't uh, run into all kind of troubles because you try to to achieve something or save something and i feel this quality just deepening in 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 our conversations and also just being being open uh, uh, whatever is going on you know this week with this friend of mine turned out in the end of our conversation we both were struggling with our digestion and uh, we had uh, hemorrhoids and like <laughs> itching but <and laughs> you know this kind of stuff it's really <laughs> 
after, after we split and then we, we sent some messages, we, we realized together, you know, you know, this is the kind of uh, uh, humility that, that just creates a brothership. <laughs> You, you you cannot plan this stuff. I mean, it just happens when it happens, and it 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 also creates a, a unique holding space if you have this kind of quality in 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 this circle. If you can just be yourself and and totally trust uh, on each other, I mean, then then it's it, I mean it's stronger than uh, than steel uh, or whatever material. It's it's. It's it's untouchable. It's uh, indestructible, and and nobody can stop this movement. I think that's that's the kind of quality that we we are working on, and we we need to work on. I'm saying yes to humility. Uh, again, this thing for me remind. A reminder, um, not to assume I'm always right or I'm uh, with the whole vision or uh, I'm in a certain place and I'm doing well or, or however, or even badly, how it is uh, to stay humble. Uh, in fact, that's an interesting uh, thing just come up for me just then. Um, <clears throat> I was within a men's. It was in a men's group at some point, and one of the men was uh, sharing, "Oh, things are going so well. Um, you know, I'm everything's going really well. I'm getting paid well. The, the venues are saying yes. Uh, I'm having a lot of uh, students who learn. Was a community chef, um, and uh, he said, "I'm af I'm afraid it's it's all going to go wrong." And uh, as a group, and I think even he arrived at the conclusion that. We just have to be grateful. And somehow or other, that counteracts all that fear and worry. Uh, it's a bit like this same for me about being humble. Okay, this is just how it is right now. Um, so what came up for me was if I'm in the down, if I'm in the down wave, feeling really shit and or things are not flowing, difficult, um, how humbleness would actually uh, bring me back into some kind of media, media play, medium place. So it's an int interesting thought. Uh, I might be with that today. Um, and I'm enjoying this conversation. It's bringing me into different areas. Thank you. I mean, it, it's working for me. Thank you, Rob. It's like it, it was very interesting to see how the, the, the first question, the, the question that you brought, really opened this space of really going to, to what is hidden, like what is the non material value of this circle for me, for myself to being in circle in this context. And that is really touched me in something like hearing you, like Rob and Thierry talking about. The, the 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 like the the hidden forces the dynamic of the circle by themselves and, and and by the community around and by the people with with so in a very simple and humble way it's it's show showing in me uh, how yeah how this is working in myself at least in this in this season of circles in in this since last November, um, at the beginning I, I I found that that resistance of being alone or we are a few or trying to reach people and put the, the message and send private message and all that stuff and I stopped doing that I said no that I'm I'm here. I'm here and I'm announcing that I'm here and I'm putting my intention. This is my intention. And now I'm noticing why I'm here and why it's important for me to be here, not as a space holder, but as a peer, as a game world builder, as someone that is uh, uh, struggling to, to cut the way right, in the forest. Like you go to a wild forest here, 
you want to go in and you have to cut your own way to go in. And how can I do that in respect with the forest, with the ecosystem that I'm part of? Like that is me discovering that, doing this, this living the struggle and push it too much or push to less or whatever. It doesn't matter. It's the experience that I'm mining and the learning that I'm doing, supporting myself in doing that. And I'm glad with this. I'm glad with what is coming alive in me with this circle. And I, I, I'm feeling more energized right now. I was tired at the beginning of feel some of tiredness in my body. And now I'm I'm feeling very alive and with a lot of energy flowing in myself saying, yes, yes, that's why, that's why it's important to me. That's why I want to be here. That's why I want to make sense. It doesn't matter. In this case, I'm with Rod and Thierry. Maybe I'm alone. Maybe I'm doing someone else and Thierry and Rob are here doing something. It doesn't matter. The circle is happening and I'm in circle and I'm with this posture and commitment and attitude of being in circle with these uh, peers that are doing this work and yeah that 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 is really exciting it's it's, it's turning me up but... thank you um terry were you, you going to say something Uh, I'm, I'm listening to you, Marco, and I, I'm uh, remembering uh, a commitment I made or an understanding. Uh, is it a commitment? Yeah. It's, it's an interesting word, commitment. It has many, so, so many views on it. Um, in a positive sense, I'm talking of um, what I found in council was uh, this growing idea of what, what it is to be in ceremony. And if I put the word ceremony when I, uh, when I when I think of the word ceremony when I think about council, um, there is no, uh, not really any thought about numbers and um, and 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 those things. It's a it's about it doesn't matter how many people we are. It's if we, if I'm there on my own, which has happened, it doesn't happen so often, but uh, it it happens and can happen. Uh, there is still someone holding the ceremony, and somehow or other, something else, something happens in the world. And for me, uh, for me, that word ceremony is important. So what I'm hearing from you, Marco, is that being in circle, uh, or being in these circles, is giving you something similar. If I'm, if I'm, if I'm understanding it right, and that's interesting to me as well. How how a person can commit to something which seems deeper than the than the then the description of it would be in, on paper. There's something intangible, perhaps, about it that one receives, or or does has it, does it as an act uh, for the betterment, for the intention and the embetterment of the world, in some way, shape, or form. Thank you, Hope. We have three mm -hmm. more minutes, and my proposal is for us to go as a checkout. And Thierry, you, I think you will start. Yeah, yeah, yeah I can I can start. Um, I was just reminded that uh, a few weeks ago, I uh, one of my teachers in co-creation came by here, and I could clearly see kind of a difference in in, in quality and energy. She was still. Uh, uh, trying to push uh, things forward and actually she just retired and got, uh, got fed up with it. Um, so again, I think for us, the, that's at least my understanding, is to to create this kind of sweet space. And one crazy idea that just, just, just came in, uh, why not uh, also just have it as, as kind of an open coffee uh, space where we just... Uh, uh, celebrate life together and thinking one step further like next week is a, is a spring equinox and just doesn't have to be big but just send it out as an invitation you know let's uh, let's just uh, celebrate uh, spring together and 
if again we with with three then uh, then then that's uh, that's that's fine but just as a um, way to express this kind of energy that we're in right now. So that's me for today. Thank and you, I will too. take charge of uh, what I what I just said. Thank you, Thierry. I I I I already felt that I did my checkout. I'm I'm feeling very alive, and I'm glad with the conversation and the insights that uh, uh, really arrive at me. And with this opportunity to make sense, to sense making of stuff, yes, in a way with the word, but it's my system that is doing that. It's not only my mind through your stories, through your sharings, and I'm I'm seeing that happening inside me. And thank you. It's me living. I also feel like I've done a checkout. I feel um, very good. I will. I don't know where I will be on Friday, next Friday, uh, but I would like to to commit now this week to to exploring this idea of uh, gratitude and humbleness in both uh, conditions that are really, really well and good, and also conditions that are quite depressing or difficult, or challenging, and see see what meaning that has. Thank you. It's been a joy. Thank you. Atesha. 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 <laughs>